Tony has been flying drones for years. It's a passion of his. This is the latest and the greatest. He started out with beautiful landscape shots. You take some pictures of some cool things and then it just sits on the shelf. For the last couple of weeks, he's been getting footage of something different. Actually put it into good use that contributes to for a good cause. Try to get a better shot. Tony flies over this encampment south of the First Avenue Bridge. The scale of that encampment just blew me away and I saw this graveyard of cars. Specifically identifying any new vehicles that find themselves trapped in this lot. That car right there, my, that's new. Another one, there's a Mercedes. Let's take a couple of pictures. He then posts the pictures to the Pacific Northwest Facebook page. I'm assuming that people have their own case numbers that they can refer to the police with and get them to come down. And I think that's what happened with Rachel. Seeing the photos, we were just in shock. We're like, there it is. We knew it was there, you know, but we just couldn't see it. And it's not a safe place to be. Rachel and her boyfriend reported their 1996 Honda stolen minutes after it happened at their MLK Way South home. A week later, she saw Tony's post and called police. Police got to the car. They did find it. It was too late. It was already trashed. According to data from the Seattle Police Department, there's been 2,075 motor vehicle thefts this year. Kind of frustrating. You know, there's no justice, it seems, for people. 30, 40 cars, maybe? Tony says over the handful of times that he's flown this lot, he has reunited two people with their cars, something he says is the goal of community groups like the Stolen Cars Facebook page. I think it's doing more than the police are. Unfortunately, I haven't seen that. His flights discovering new cars and already comments are streaming in from the one identified today. Now, I reached out to the Seattle Police Department to see if the car identified was stolen or if they had anything to say about this encampment behind me. I am still waiting to hear back. But for now, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.